Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome to Pikmin. Pikmin 4, for the demo. This demo is free to play, from the Nintendo eShop. I haven't played it yet, so I can't say if I recommend it or not. But based on the other games I've played, I probably can, so let's get into it. Special rewards in the smart device app. Pikmin Bloom, okay. <laughs> so if you want to do that, you can. Once you collect 1,500 units of spark sparklium and finish exploring the day, you can import your save data from the demo into the full version of the game. And it does support two players, which this is good to know because it didn't mention that until now, which is something that is really probably helpful. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen the multiplayer, but I probably should check it out just to make sure it's good. <laughs> and not like Super Mario Galaxy 2 style <laughs> multiplayer. But it looks like it's going to be regular co-op stuff. I'm really excited to find out what's going to happen here. <laughs> I am Captain Olimar. I command a spaceship called the SS Dolphin. This is the story of how I crashed onto an unknown planet and how I was ultimately rescued. After the crash, I woke up to find my ship was in pieces, scattered everywhere. I had no way of returning home to my beloved family. I thought I was doomed. Until I encountered a strange species, which I named Pikmin. The Pikmin had an innate desire, or will, to carry objects. With their help, I was able to find and transport my missing ship parts. Time passed and I met an yet another mysterious creature. It appeared to be malnourished. So I tossed it over a treat. After that, we quickly bonded. She is a steadfast partner in the quest to find the missing pieces of my ship. Please ship. A quest that was nearing its end. We arrived at the last area we had left to explore. What is this place? Also look at that onion. That looks so cool. Also love the, the cutscenes from before, how they looked, the style. Something about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. Wait, where are you running off to? That can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the, the, miss, the missing ship parts.
Well, we can move around now. We can use the right stick to control the camera. Looks like the SS Dolphin is missing a few parts, but it's okay. But let's have a look around. I can call our Pikmin, I believe, where the cursor is with the... No, we can't do that yet. Have to do some other stuff first. Have to walk one step further first. I saw some of the red, uh, some of the Pikmin head this way. They could be hiding behind those things. Let's break them and see. When we jump, I'll start charging up my pup strength. I just need to press X and hold what button? Hold down. It's not a button. It's just hold down. Then take aim. When she's at full strength, I'll let her uh, rush. I'll let go and let let her rush. Go! Pikmin. Red Pikmin. Aha! I knew it! Now I'll use B to call them back to me with my whistle. Got him. I love that they just jump on as well. That's great. I just wish I knew why the Pikmin ran away and hid in that in the first place. Hmm, I better make a note of this in my voyage log. Record and log, record later. I guess that's just save. You never know when this kind of information will prove useful. Now, how to phrase it? Also, m maybe that's not just saving it, maybe it's just actually logging it. I love the idea of, like, actually logging things. That's kind of something I wish was in Pikmin 3 where you had the camera and you could just go around and take pictures of things and log them or something like that. Strange Pikmin behavior. When I arrived at this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and, and immediately hid. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll keep looking for them and can call them back using my whistle. Number 76, Strange Pikmin Behavior. Signed, Captain Olimar. I need to find my missing ship parts, but it will be much easier if I have more Pikmin to help me. Okay, so we have Pikmin now, and I'm assuming we can actually throw them at some point, probably. Oh, hello. Probably need to try and find as many as I can. Oh, at least I have a few more Pikmin now. There's a lot of shaking in my controller right now. That might just be because of these pots or something. Or maybe it's just because there's stuff nearby. Because of these pots and stuff. Maybe. Well, I still fear, hear, feel that one. The shaking. Hello, Pikmin. It's very concerning feeling this shaking in the controller. So we should search the area below. It's got a fan up there, which I believe allows us to get back, probably. Also, we can press X to jump as well, which is interesting because we've not had a jump, really, in a Pikmin game before. There are so many Pikmin around. There are so many Pikmin around. Also, I'm noticing the numbers at the bottom of the screen don't show me how many there are around. At least not yet. Wonder who's behind this. Let's rush and check it out. Good thing there were no Pikmin there to get squashed. I think that's all of them there. This feels very Pikmin-like. Like, with the camera and stuff. There's some Pikmin on the step, we can get those down. You can't hide from me. Get some more of these Pikmin. They are everywhere. How are you supposed to get them all? I don't know if you need to get them all, but I'm assuming you do because it's a tutorial area. Go! Do I want to know what's up here? Probably. Oh! Well, maybe not. Ah, oh, that thing's alive. And I don't think I want to dash into it, maybe. A creature! I don't see any ship parts. Could that thing have swallowed one hole? Those spiky things are going to make this tough. I have to find an opening. I see. 
Good thing it shows me exactly what will happen if I just wait. Maybe I should use X to build up my energy so we can rush with the creature when the time is right. In the meantime, let's circle it and wait for a chance to strike. I don't know if- Oh, hold your buzz music. <laughs> that's fine. I'll get it in a second. I just want to get some more Pikmin first because that sounds important. Although, I'm assuming- I don't know. I don't know how I want to do this. Let me just get some more Pikmin first. Although, less Pikmin might be a better idea, possibly for a fight. Just so I don't lose them all when I die. Okay, there has to be a ship around here somewhere. Ship part around here somewhere. This is the perfect situation to rely upon my pup's powerful nose to track down one of those ship parts. Girl. Oh, that's interesting. Because I, I, I accidentally skipped it, but also this is actually interesting that it actually shows us. We need to stay on the scent. So I'm guessing it's not just going to show us on the map where they are anymore. Possibly. But we can sniff them out. Come on. I need my opening. I need my opening. Go! No, I missed. Please. Got him. Oh! Called back Pikmin now. I really am bad at this. Wow. Good thing I'm playing this demo to get better at the game before the game actually comes out. Ow! I'm bad. Oh, it has a recharge. Just gonna toss some of those on. I probably should have been doing reds. No! Good thing they don't die, apparently. Not immediately. Just gonna make sure I do this better because it has a recharge time. Gotta get that part back. Come on, do it. Okay, go! Very nice, there we go. Oh hey, that's gonna be helpful. It's the interstellar radio. We've located it at last. With this back in my possession, I can finally call for help. saving. I've recovered the interstellar radio. So I immediately sent out an SOS signal. And attached to the latest version of my voyage log. Days and weeks passed, but one month later, my signal reached the rescue corps. They took off towards the, this remote planet with noble plans to bring me home safe. Unfortunately, fate had other ideas. The rescue, of rescue officer sent me to rescue me crash landed during their arrival. Double shipwrecks are rare and extremely unlucky. At this point, you might think that all hope was lost. But there was one last rescue officer left at Rescue Corps HQ, a rookie. You. That's right. You are my last hope. Emergency mission. Rescue the rescue corpse. Follow the emergency protocol. All officers were di directed to eva evacuate the spaceship immediately. Finding the dis uh, dis <laughs> dispersed rescue corpse is now your top priority. Create your ID badge and deploy immediately. This is quite out of nowhere. <laughs> Whoa. We're actually setting up a character. <laughs> I mean, this one looks right. I don't know. I might go with this one. Just have to figure out what to go with. Yeah, that one's about right.
Hmm. I don't know, I might just go with that. Blue? Blue hair. Let's go. Blue, blue everything. Blue tone. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. It's me. It's perfect. Also, new planet. Interesting. The law grows. I mean, it's strange you can't set, like, the different parts of the face. You can only set the full face. Not only my fate. But the fate of the rescue corpse. Rests in the hands of one inexperienced adventurer. I'm actually getting goosebumps from this now. <laughs> also love that this thing is blue because I picked blue. That's just so cool. <laughs> you actually get to pick your colors. Well, here we are now. Search for the missing rescue officers. Also, I like that we're outside now because we were inside before, which is really cool. But also, I like just the feeling of being small inside of, like, the garden, basically. <laughs> this area is just so cool. Oh, it's your puppy! Uchi. Also, whoa, this is from planet Gaia? Is this the planet that we're on, or is this from a different planet? This young loyal pup, rescue pup, is one of an elite breed of space- Oh, it's probably from our planet, maybe? And then it got dropped here? Or something? I don't know. Elite breed of space dogs that's long served the uh, Shepherd family. This is his first mission. Also, he's got a blue, um, collar, which is also cool. I don't know if that's just how it- yeah, it looks like it was from our planet. But also... Then why did- I don't know, there must be just, like, more throughout the galaxy. Begs the question of what else is just on different planets. <laughs> you encountered the rescue corpse. Rescue pup- o Ochi. Ochi. I apparently can't say that. The remaining six rescue officers are still out there somewhere. Someone in need of rescuing. <laughs> cool. Very specific. Well, how do we... Oh, whistle. And then... Send. Do it. Whoa, you are so strong. But you are so strong! No wonder we've been getting these pups to be our friends because they're so strong you wouldn't well, you want to you wouldn't want to be the enemies oh uh. uh. huh is that you o ochi Thank the stars. I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ. So you and Ochi found and rescued me together? Are? That's actually quite s surprising. I've never th known Ochi to listen to anyone other than our captain. Oh, hey. oh I should probably pr introduce myself. I'm Colin, communications operator for the rescue corps. As the rescue corps comms operator, he handles communication for his fellow officers. Plus, he's handy with a wrench. Pretty good to get first. <laughs> Quite a pose as well. Met with Colin, the rescue corps comms operator. That's one down. Now, where could the other rescue officers be? My path got cut off by a small landslide. 
And when my hunger became unbearable, I decided to nap to preserve my stamina. You're our latest re recruit, right? It's Blue Toad, isn't it? I couldn't be more grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out the, that emergency signal. The rest of the rescue corps, well, it was a rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. Oh no. Oh yes. I've spent days sleeping out here in the rough. There were six officers on that on the ship, but we were separated when they when we were when we ejected from the spacecraft. We came here to find Captain Olimar, whose own ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. I've confirmed that our spacecraft spaceship I can't spaceship. The SS Shepard led it somewhere over there. I can't say words, but I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can uh, find a way back to it. And if we're lucky, we'll come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way. Oh, before I forget, take this. It's an official Rescue Corps tablet. We use them to share information. Thank goodness I always carry an extra. That's oddly specific. Did you plan for this? I'm onto you. Tap up on the left side there to open and review your missions. Version 20.0.1, wow. You can use this app anytime to confirm that what tasks are top priority. I have some other handy apps to share, but I'll install them uh, later when we have a moment to rest. Hello? For now, just remember that you can always tap up on the D-pad to view missions. But if you press minus the select and select shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to each shortcut button. Cool. Whoa. There's so much stuff here. Also, whoa, we can actually see Kind of what the other captors look like. Kind of. We can actually see the different sets of people. This seems like it's going to expand at some point. Like, not going to lie, this looks like it's going to expand at some point. Now then, let's go find the SS Shepherd. Come with me. You're now mine. There it is. There she is, the SS Shepard. I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach it from here. You know, there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. That's crazy. It's just up ahead, let's go. Why did I feel... That's probably just the text on the screen, actually, is why it's vibrating. The controller. That's really ominous, though, when you're not used to it. Ooh. Look! That's it! See that big hole in the ground over there? If only we could find a way there, then we could finally reunite with the SS Shepherd. Oh, do we have to go through a dungeon to get to there? Oh my goodness, it's impossible to get over that ledge. Oh, boy. This is going to be problematic, isn't it? There's something under that dirt. I just sent. <laughs> okay. No shortcuts. This is a perfect job for a rescue pup. They're known for being excellent diggers. Good pup, Ochi. You're making... Okay, it's gone. Almost there. You can see why rescue pups are the rescue corps' pride and joy. Huh? This looks just like the other hole we saw. Well done, Ochi. I wonder if these two holes are somehow connected underground. Looks pretty deep. We're just going to have to dive right in. Let's do it. That's the spirit. Here we go. 
Though it does look pretty dark down there. We've got lights. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Burrow of Beginnings. Sub-level 1. I'm glad that they've brought back the dungeons. The caves. This is really ominous. <laughs> hey, what is it, o Ochi? He's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here. Oh, so this looks like that one... This looks like the exact one of the rooms in Pikmin 2, kind of. When you go into the the bird house, the snagger hole, or whatever it is. I don't think this is what it looked like in the snagger hole, though. Oh, hey, Captain. Also, ball black's lava. Ah! Oh, my! What a place to find the captain. <laughs> that terrified individual you see over there is the captain of our rescue corps team. Look sharp, Blue Toad. The captain comes from a long line of- oh, it's gone. This is no time for the history lesson. Hurry up and do something. Well, I guess that's- that's fair enough. Get him! Oh no, she's surrounded by creatures. We'll get him. Phew, now we can relax a bit. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you get down? I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging for so long. Okay, I can do this. How many days were you just holding onto this thing? What's your status, Colin? Are you okay? Shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm just re I'm just relieved to see you. You're all right. Oh, you. I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps, if you don't remember. Did you order Ochi to get rid of those creatures all by yourself, Blue Toad? Huh. Ochi's not supposed to obey anyone but me. Guess that rookie training paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. A 99th Gen Rescue Corps officer. She was saved by a rescue pup as a child, sparking a lifelong love for her furry colleagues. We found Captain Shepard. With the, the captain here, it feels like there may be some hope for us after all. Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but, uh, what were you doing down here anyway? While exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over to take a look inside and fell right in. I wandered around this cave, trying to find an exit, but when I came up uh, on those icky, slimy creatures... Hang on, did you fall down the hole located near the SS Shepherd? We entered this cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. Well then, what are we waiting around here for? Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Copy that. Is something wrong? You didn't say anything, Blue Toad. Copy that is the Rescue Corps way of saying understood. Let's try saying it together, okay? Copy that. Yeah, I'm not going along with this game. Nah, I guess I will. <laughs> I thought it was just going to end there, but anyway. Very good. Excellent reply. That said, you'll need to review the Rescue Corps Rescue Journal for, an up for your upcoming missions. It's essential to our work. I feel like saying understood is probably funnier. <laughs> I should have done that. Rescue Journal installing. This is where you'll find advice left by captains both past and present. I have no doubt the knowledge and wisdom they share will here will guide you well. How many captains are there in this law now? What's up, what's up? 
You'll be able to access them via your tablet as the need arises, so put them to good use while you are out in the field. Since Ochi and you have bonded, I officially approve of your partnership. I'll be observing you both to see what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. Get him! That was quite a rush. I remember this area. There! That's where I fell in. My word, to think you survived a fall from that height. But more importantly, how are we supposed to climb up there? Didn't we fall further because we were further down in the cave? Hey, there's something right under this hole. Gua! That's cool. I guess it's going to become a normal part of, like, getting around now. Excuse me, Blue Toad. I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when encountering so un some something unfamiliar. Maybe you don't just touch it. I completely agree. Though in this case, your impulsive behavior did get us out of that cave. Alright, Captain. The Rescue Corps flag has been officially planted. Now for the rescue report on all cave-related activities. We located and rescued one castaway, and no other individuals were found during our search. Noted. Then let's consider the investigation of this cave complete. I hope this experience will help you prepare for the challenges inherent to our work. There are lives depending on us. But you both did well. This is good work today. Well done, Blue Toad and Ochi. I guess we're going to just skip right over the fact that we had to rescue the captain herself. Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. Did you do something new with your hair? I don't think so. I've been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. Of course, and good for you. You did it. Well, here she is, the SS Shepherd. Is that smoke pouring out of the SS Shepherd? I'll investigate right away. Famous last words. Status report. Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine had overheated and that the spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. What? Oh no, will it be okay? It will. I in initiated an emergency shutdown and everything's stable. Thankfully the engine can be repaired. However, the ship's energy stores are now completely empty. So we have no way of getting off this planet. Let alone searching for Captain Olimar. Well, hey. Not necessarily. I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage log that may prove useful. Here it is. Take a look at this. After thorough investigation into the shiny objects found on this planet, I have deducted that this they must contain sparklium. I feel giddy to have found real life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective. Finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. Sparklium. In layman's terms, we should be able to extract sparklium from sparkling objects that we find on this planet and convert it into energy. They can be used to restart and restore the SS Shepherd. Those objects truly are nothing short of real-life treasures. 
I'm skeptical, but at this point, we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance. So from this point on, we have a new mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. Copy that. Apparently sparkly objects can be uh, used as an energy source. Locate as many as you can so that you can, re you can restart the SS Shepherd. Once we collect this treasure, we'll need a way to transport it. For that, we can use the SS Beagle. We just need a good place to, for it to land. Huh? What's that over there? It's so shiny! Maybe it's some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. It looks like the perfect spot for a base of operations. Call the ship over. SSB Gore repositioning successful. Good, our preparations are complete. Let's find that treasure. Well, let's do it, I guess. See anything sparkly around here? I do. Is that what I think it is? This has to be a treasure. Just look at the way it sparkles. Let's check out the tablet to see if it's emitting a high energy reading. Alright, Rakeem, press plus to open the radar map. Presence of Sparklium confirmed. That star in the center represents the treasure. From now on, you can consult uh, your radar map to check if there's any treasure in your area. Hi. Excellent work. I'm going to take this auspicious start as a good sign. But, um, how are we going to rem how are we going to move it? I mean, I can do that. Also, whoa, there's a lot of area here. I think this is the most text-heavy start to a Pikmin game. <laughs> Excellent, it's on the move. That's perfect. This treasure is large. How can we physically collect something this big? The ship uses a special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll examine it with the sensors on the SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains the type of energy we need. Okay. 50. Yes, energy detected. If we collect 250 more units of Sparklium, we may be able to restart the SS Shepherd. But the SS Shepherd is supposed to run on high octane energy. Will this work? I believe we can get it to run on Sparklium alone. That may be a bit of... be a bumpier ride. But before that can happen, we're going to need a lot more. Then we need to search the area for more treasure. That's a cool ring <laughs> sound. Also, what is that with the three treasures? See something sparkly up there. I can rush it, apparently. To knock it down. Watch out! Look out! Look out! Game Boy Advance SP. I have one of those. That was close. Too close. This is really cool. <laughs> but how are we supposed to transport this? And we don't have enough power. It won't budge. Hang on. Whoa. What's this? Is it a treasure? Maybe. Oh, we're carrying it. Good job, o Ochi. Carry it just like that. 
This would be a good treasure, probably. Huh? It moved! I don't think it's a treasure. What could it be? It looks kind of like a plant. Could this be the thing Captain Olimar wrote about in his voyage log? He called it an onion. If this is an onion, then what is that sprout? Red Pikmin. Oh my! I think this could be a Pikmin. According to the Captain Olmar's voyage log, they're friendly and helpful creatures. Oh. Well, well then, maybe we, they could help us ex while we explore and look for treasure. <laughs> look at that! Ochi's really <laughs> already bonding with the Pikmin. You should introduce yourself as well, Blue Toad. Are you sure that's bonding? And, um, Captain, how long are you in- how long do you intend to hide back there? We have Pikmin now. Let's get some more. Also, I'm glad that it kind of locks onto things, but I'm not sure how long I want that to keep doing that. It's kind of strange having it auto-lock onto things. Although that might just be because I'm playing on controller. What? More sprouts! That red seed-like thing, it's apparently called a pellet. If you feed one to the onion, it'll create more Pikmin. What a mysterious life form. Also, if you get the same colored pellet to the same colored onion, you get more of that color. So it's good to color match, although it's probably not going to matter. Just need to make sure you have the right Pikmin carry it back. I can say other Pikmin and stuff, because we've seen other Pikmin. But now we can do a lot more stuff. Quickly. We don't even need to throw it directly at the thing, probably. Hopefully. Although it looks like we will anyway, for the most part. And since we have multiple captains, it's probably going to make collecting these Pikmin out of the ground a lot faster as well. Ooh, there's a shiny. This one looks extra shiny. Interesting. I think that's all the pellets around. Let's start picking some Pikmin. Bucking some Pikmin. Oh, they're not gonna help me. Come on. Lazy bones. There we go. I love that it just automatically collects all that stuff for me. Also, hang on, if I charge... That's probably not going to send all my Pikmin, is it? No. But anyway, we can throw a little, whole bunch of Pikmin to carry that for us. There we go. Looks like there isn't actually anything else here to do. At the moment, anyway. This is the edge of our exploration. New treasure collected. Also, that was 150. Oh my goodness, there's like collection types and like keeps track of stuff like that. That's really cool. We can also put more Pikmin than we need onto an object if we need to, I'm pretty sure. Up to double its uh, collection weight value. And we can go by faster. We've got this. Huzzah! You two make fantastic co a fantastic combination, Blue Toad and Ochi. Ah, thanks a bunch. Yes, yes. Keep up the good work. 
The Pikmin are very obedient. They move and work like tiny rescue pups. Hey. Now it's time to extract the energy from the treasure. Get started right away, Colin. Energy from the treasure will soon be extracted. It will flow directly into the SS Shepherd. This is really cool. Like, really cool. Look how cool that is. The SS Shepherd is running. We restarted the SS Shepherd using the sparklium extracted from the treasure. Hello, hello. We did it! The ship's back online. We still don't have enough energy to fly, but now we can use the radar to look for our missing rescue officers. Excellent, Colin. Boot it up and see if we can pick up any signals. I'm picking up multiple SOS signals. They could be coming from our lost rescue officers, and even Captain Olimar. Then we don't have a moment to lose. Time to get rescuing. Results of day one, two captains, rescuers. Sparkling discovered. That's interesting. The ship is automatically naming the objects. <laughs> oh my goodness. Noble Bident. Stone of Advancement. Path cr Creator. That's just great. <laughs> I mean, that's what it does in the other games, but also that's just great that it's still a thing. <laughs> and it's just automatically named in the ship. We encounter unknown objects and elements of our on our mission all the time, so I had a naming AI installed on our new ships. Apparently it was uh, co-created by a famous appraiser. It's more sophisticated than I expected. Pretty impressive. It is neat, but a backup power source probably would have been more helpful. Hmm. <laughs> but that's so cool. I was worried when I saw the smoke billowing out of the SS Shepherd. I didn't know that, know how things could would shake out. Thank goodness we were able to make the repairs. I've been roughing it for so for for long enough, and there's something to be said for finally having a uh, properly prepared meal. And you're sure we have enough emergency rations, Colin? We have no idea how long we'll be stuck on this planet. I counted our stock three times, but I can. I can do it again. Excellent plan. Now, tomorrow we'll focus on recon. So you and o Ochi need to eat and get lots of rest, Blue Toad. But don't forget to review your missions before we're heading out, heading, heading to bed. <laughs> also, it, it sounds like we might be collecting a lot of things because it sounds like we have to collect ship parts, treasure, and possibly food as well, <laughs> possibly, which I'm happy with. I'm very happy with that. 